Welcome back. The Army has a long history of reinforcing its working ethics and values in the backdrop of sports. In our next report, Gail McCabe introduces us to three participants in this year's Army Combatives Invitational Tournament who demonstrate this. Hands up. As a sport, Army Combatives is popular. The fans really like it. And then there's the fighters. Win or lose, they love it. Private First Class Jake Gephardt is one of four finalists in the lightweight division. A contender from Fort Campbell, he's one of almost 200 total competitors at this year's Army Combatives Invitational Tournament. As a soldier, Gephardt is a sniper set to deploy to Iraq in two days. He's here in the ring to see if he can fulfill his goal to be the best. It was not to be. Gephardt came in fourth, but still not bad for someone who's just embraced the sport. It builds strength and character in your person, you know. It takes a lot of emotion and a lot of work to get where you can, as far as you can in this sport, and a lot of people don't have that. Flyweight contender Sergeant James Tomko will tell you the same thing. I'm going to close the distance, gain a dominant position, and finish the fight. He's fighting for first place bragging rights against Joshua Poblet from the Guam National Guard. It's a tough contest, but Tomko does exactly what he said he would. It was all part of the plan, man. I did everything I said I was going to to a tee. Just stuck to the game plan, and it, it worked. And then there's Fort Riley's Matthew Bray. He set his sights on first place, and he got it. He says it proves the value of a good team. could have done any of this without them. They kick my butts every day in practice. And without them, I wouldn't have been able to do this. They all say Army combatives is tougher than it looks, and the payback is worth all the hard work. They also all say they'll be back. Gil McCabe, Fort Benning, Georgia. This was the third annual Army Combatives Tournament. Plans are already underway for the 2008 competition. If you'd like more information on Army Combatives, check out their website, moderncombatives.org.